Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Distant Worlds Honorverse, episode number five. I think we've gotten through a majority of the ship design we'll have to do. Um, in my opinion, the state bases, well those can be okay, but a lot of the civilian ship designs, the scout designs, the construction ships, these aren't really the interesting thing. They're only interesting because it's appealing for me to make a very low maintenance ship to do the min-max stuff, but the really exciting stuff is ahead of us, which is the military ship construction. And I already have a lot of ideas circulating through my head. I've done various different things with ship type designs in the past. I have no idea what we'll end up doing with this one. I haven't uh, premeditated how our ship design will go. Uh, sometimes I have like different roles, so for the different ships we have. Um, sometimes I'll have frigates be one type of ship, destroyers be another. Sometimes, sometimes I'll just have them be different sizes. So, since I don't use the AI, I don't use any of the um, automated procedures, the ship classes are completely irrelevant. We can just use them for whatever we want. Now, uh, right now, our big the order of business is to explore all the different systems. And I seem to... Uh, oh, okay, that's a construction ship. We already, because of the abandoned ship which we explored or investigated, We've gotten access to, the, to these four systems, and now we're just going to explore the other ones. Oh, somebody's going to finish their mission. What was your mission? Maybe to retrofit to a Type 2? Or maybe you just... Oh, I think these just completed. Okay, very good. So let's get these guys. Uh, I should probably just have this window open. Start exploring this way as well. And one over here. And one more... Hmm, quite a few systems over here and here. Let's try this one. And, uh, there, our range is quite good in the end. Uh, much better than I was expecting we'd have. Okay, more system maps, which we don't need. So everything's good here. How are our construction ships doing? They all have orders either to retrofit or to build, which is good. And now we kind of sit tight. Actually, we can, we have one of these guys building a resort base good. That should be done pretty quickly, actually. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> speak of the devil. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, so Grand Palace has been completed. Yay. Now we just need passenger liners to go ferry some troops over. Oh, by the way, which we can drop our taxes back down. We have 18,000, which is actually plenty. We may never need to uh, increase taxes again until our population is full, because we're at about 13 billion. We're gonna start getting a steady trickle of bonus income from the resorts. Right now, there's no other place for passenger liners to ferry people, but to this one resort, which means that that'll be um, the priority. I mean, it's the, if it's the only thing on your list, it's the highest priority, right? So. All the passenger liners will just be ferrying people over to the resort, which is good for us. This guy's still, gosh, he's slow moving, isn't he? Something like that. All right, we'll get this ship to return. Uh, basically, let's just take a look at our system. We've already occupied, there we go. Tiderios, I, I guess I can do this. Let's take a look at what our empire currently has. We have gold and lead. Tiderios, Helium. Uh, again, you guys aren't seeing these pop-ups. Darn it. Okay, well, let me try not to use this too much then, but normally I, I, I just check here. What I can do just as well, um, let me actually sort by luxury versus strategic, and let's just see which of these I still don't have. I don't have Dilithium Crystals, which I think we're currently in the process of getting a planet with that. Emeros Crystal and Aculon. Um... If I'm not mistaken, whoops, this has dilithium and polymer. Okay, so dilithium, we can cross that off the list. The other two, which we don't have yet, so we have dilithium, but we don't have aculon, and we don't have emeros crystal. I believe there's even a planet in our system. I guess I don't, I don't even have to leave. I can just go down here. 
Aculon, let's see what are the targets by galaxy priority. All right, so I'm going to read this. This one has Osalia 100%, Aculon 40%, and Necrostone 46%. Well, that's pretty awesome. This is a volcanic moon. Can we just go select target, go to target? So this place here is extremely rich, um, a fantastic candidate. Not only that, but it'll eventually have a resort base as well, because um, anytime you have a, a rune, even though there's no nominal bonus for uh, resorts, your resort locations, you usually want to build them first on the areas where, yeah, we can see Estau is um, one of the possible places, because anytime it has a, a, a what, are the, what are these called again? <laughs> A rune. Anytime a planet has a rune, it automatically becomes an appropriate site for a resort. Not, not having the bonus is not, you know, ideal. Because remember, where's our other one? I guess right here. This planet has a 42% bo bonus to scenery, which means that you, I think that just means it's a money increase when you drop off passengers there. But nonetheless, this is a great other location. I probably won't use this as a resort right away. One we would be paying, I think. Okay, wait, are resorts state ships or are they private bases? Yeah, they are state bases, so I think we actually pay the maintenance for them. So I no reason to have two until technically the first one's full. Um, I will instead get a construction ship here. This doesn't have any luxury resources, so... Let's get the wild scheme to jump back home, grab the necessary fuel and resources, and build a... Or Mark II over here. Good. Very good. And she complies. So that's good. That's going to sure us up. I'm just, this is amazing that so early on, we already have every minimal, excuse me, mineral accounted for. It's a really, really, really good start. And now we'll just continue on our way. Oh, you can see she just refueled. Her <laughs> range just jumped. Okay, you're done, which means you are also going to... Wait, what planet did we get here? This is probably a bad idea. Uh, this is a great choice of a planet. It's true, because it does have dilithium polymer. Those are, yeah, those are really good things to get. The only downside of having done that... Okay, so the daunting discovery. Let me zoom in to this guy. Let's go to home. So daunting discovery, please go. Can I get this? Sometimes there it is. Refuel here, and we're going to get you to build another thing somewhere else. What we want to do actually is find, if we take a moment to actually look at this system, let's look and see if they have, here, Caslon, this is perfect. We, we want to find um, a refueling station locations. So 52% isn't amazing, but 88% will be really useful later for our military ships once we convert, and 52% is still decent. So let's take a look at the other planets. I know that one of them, um, what do you have? Shoot, there it is. You actually don't have, I can see directly from this menu that she doesn't, this system doesn't have any fuel at all. So let's bypass her for the time being. Okay, the letter, letter, number, number, number is not gonna have anything. And you just have, I think, a really pathetic supply of Tiderios and Torellius down. Torellian down. So that means, yeah, the only candidate right now for a refueling station is in Pantu. Oh, that's okay. So as soon as this ship actually lands, I, let's, I actually, I'm going to see what happens. If I give it an order to, does it drop it out of hyperspace? What do we want here? Just gas, right? Does it drop her out of hyperspace? Let's find out. Yes, it does. So that's why I was going to wait to give my order until she had returned to the planet. Now she has to fire up her hyperdrive again. You know, it takes just a silly amount of time that you're wasting. They should be able to receive orders, not like that. Looks like our exploration ship just got to the first place. Okay, protection orders. Um, we do have two pirate companies out there right now. It is a little bit weird. I would prefer it if one pirate would protect you from the others. It'd be a really interesting system if it was, they were kind of like, if you were bidding, if you had them bid against each other, kind of. 
Um, and then if they wanted to get through you, they would have to... But I'm not going to mess around with any of that stuff. I'm just going to pay, unfortunately, quite a lot of money. Just going to pay it. Uh, 190. We're getting up there to the point where we can start building our own military ships. And as the Kingdom of Manticore, I feel like to roleplay this a little bit more, we should be getting a ship really soon. Let's take a look at where our weapons research is at right now. We're about to get enhanced missiles. In fact, let's just, as soon as we get the enhanced missiles, we have armor plate. We The only thing we lack right now is shields. So, because I chose to hold off on that. I don't necessarily disagree with that decision, but it's going to end up being quite costly. <laughs> From a military standpoint, we're really far behind. Not having shields just puts you way behind on in the military front. Yeah, okay, well, I don't think we can really build military ships without shields. Um, I rely very heavily on shields. At least we're getting more population growth. That's cool to see all the little ships bouncing around. So all the civilian ships are now retrofitted to have... Um, that's another sh should be another source of bonus income is all their retrofits. So, okay, we have one... Oh, so I guess there was just nothing in this place. So he's already finished exploring this system. What he found for us was... Wow, like literally nothing. You, this actually has no resources whatsoever. All right, we'll continue to explore this next system. Let's see how this system is looking so far. They aren't terribly smart about what? Yeah, you already built it. Oh, very good. So you can see how much faster it is to build in your system when you have hyperdrives. Okay, well, um, what else would we like to task you with? Just give you the simple mission to go home and refuel, because that's obviously something we're going to have to get done eventually. Okay, fine, just refuel at the planet. Um, uh, cheerful. Aha, uh -huh. so another one has just. Okay, so these guys need orders. We got to give them something to do. Are there any places in our home system yet which haven't been occupied? Take a look. I'm going to search for galaxy priority. Let's so sort with asteroids. And right now, I think we're sorting by distance. Um, this is a really good one. Uh, this is 88% steel, 84% lead. It's a, an asteroid in our home system. I might try to target that one because we... The next one is 74% gold and 84% steel. So basically you can think of this as 90, 80 steel lead. This one is 70, 80 steel, or gold steel. So 80, 70 gold, uh, steel gold. This one's not as good. This is lead 50, steel 90. Lead 60, steel 80. And drops off a little bit more from there. Uh, Griffin has Ocelia. Polymer and carbon fiber, those are good things, but this is again one of my uh, colonization things, colonization targets, which I guess we are not close to getting anytime soon, but the really good news is we already have every resource we need. We have one source of every um, strategic resource. And I haven't, I don't think any of them are at, a, at an extremely low rate, although I'll have to check on that. So let's actually just I don't know, like double secure steel and lead. Steel's, you know, really important. You use a lot of it. That's why it's so plentiful. But an 88%, I, I mean, we can't go wrong with it, building a station here. It's a uh, 160%. So let's go over to this one, grab one of our people, and build that. Okay, this, I just want to make sure this is the one. Yes, TC685 has the high. Yep. Okay, so let's build that TC. 685 or mark 2 there good so that'll begin that'll get done probably happen pretty quick and we have the Kyadra adventure are you also completed you're also now mark 2 very good wait yeah you're both 
And we sent somebody over to get fuel at one of these places. Uh, the way I'm going to group this, I won't be... Usually I'm looking at the systems as they're being explored, but what I'm going to do is a little bit different this time. I'm going to wait to explore a system until an explorer ship uh, calms me and says, okay, we're done exploring this system. So I'm basically just going to wait for the full report. That way I'm not jumping back and forth between these systems when they're still being explored. So we'll just look at them only when they're finished. Now, that being said, was there other stuff on Pantu that we would like to take advantage of? Okay, here's Aculon, Amorous Crystal, Necrostone. That's just another great planet. That one's not as important. I think we'll take this one because these are somewhat... Uh, Emerald Stone, Necrostone, sorry, Emerald Crystal and Necrostone are a little bit less common from my experience, so we'll take this one as well. And that one does not need... Wait, why do we have four? Oh, that's the resort station, okay. Yeah, so this one doesn't need anything but strategic. Good. So now we have all four of our construction ships working, which is what I like to see. And good. And now we're back to the waiting game. Okay, we have missiles. That is good. Oh. Somebody else completed their mission. It looks like we have another, uh, let's just say nameless. Let's call these the nameless systems. Just to indicate that they're not useful. Let's go over and explore this supernova system, which is likely going to have a scenery bonus. A lot of these supernovas are good places for resorts. Um, especially black holes if we find one, which we have one down here. Okay, I don't remember what mission you were given, Wild Scheme. I think it was just to return and refuel. Yeah, so now we have to give you... <laughs> I like to keep these guys busy, but you can see there's a, <laughs> a trade-off here. Well, let's continue looking at Pantu. Let's work our way out. Whoops, that's not, not quite what I wanted to do. Let's just work our way out from the center. I'm, I'm bound to miss asteroids this way, and sometimes I miss some of the smaller planets. I kind of like to get a feel for the initial systems closest to me, because those are the ones where your empire is first going to spring up. Okay, so I have a good feel for what's... It looks like most of the resources are on the inner. We have the fuel station on the outside. I think we can consider this uh, system reasonably well explored. Let's go over to... Okay, so this one only had that one, which we don't care about yet. Is there anything useful here? Okay, not really on that planet. Okay, this is a certainly a candidate. Two luxury resources and silicon. And silicon is an excellent... Okay, yeah, let's get a, a ship over here. So we need... This one does need to be a luxury ore. So we'll get that built over there. Might be a little early to be building that far away because we have, I think, the one... Oh yeah, I'm, I don't want to deal with this Tiderios Terrellian down one. <laughs> because I have to build an ore lug I mean, uh, not an ore luxury. I have to build a gas luxury for that one. Okay, somebody else has completed their mission. So you've been given a new mission. You, we got you done. You're, you're the one building that new station, yes. And now, aha. So where are you? Ah, the bottom right. Okay, so let's see what this um, system has. Only steel and iridium. My goodness. <laughs> very barren. Okay, very low steel. Nothing. Oh, this one has decent steel and iridium. Is that... Oh, that's just the background. And then steel and iridium. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so pretty much nothing on this in this system at all. This one barely breaks the 120%, but I don't think we'll build a system here. Okay, actually, I take that back. It is nice to have one station in a system just so that you are able to monitor it. That acts almost as more of like a listening post than anything else. Otherwise, the station will remain... You can see how we don't have any vision here. It's all like slash lined. Um, to prevent that, you do need to keep a mining station in the system. So we'll probably do that in the end. Just put a mining station there, but it's not a high priority. We're not like encountering other empires yet, so 
All right, how is your fuel? I think you have enough to get here and then get home, you know, more or less. So let's go ahead and explore that. And good, that's the exploration ship. Oh man, I'm actually not happy about the new leader being elected because we had pretty good population growth. However, maybe it's not a bad thing. Let's go to the event location. Yeah, we're at 15 billion. The population growth has been I'm sure the leader's population growth had a tremendous impact on that. Let's get this guy to do counterintelligence until we have a mission for him. And our new leader has population growth in the negative. Well, that's horrible. Population happiness, horrible. All these things are terrible. Yes, there is basically nothing good about this leader. All we can do is hope for hit an early demise <laughs> or a quick re-election. Uh, okay, so you are here. Hi, I planned that out pretty well. Now let's get you to retire at the nearest shipyard. And hopefully, because this guy doesn't have any... I guess it is a, a nice defensive unit. Maybe I should keep him for a little bit. Enhanced armor, which is good. I mean, it's going to have everything useful. Quantum engines. The only thing it doesn't have, which is really sad, is hyperdrive. If it had hyperdrive, I probably wouldn't dismiss it. No, but we're, our, we're a science-oriented people. I'm going to let it get retired. We'll build our own military ships as soon as we have the ability to, to use shields. And that's the point in time where we'll probably go after the pirates. Right now, they're, so they start off in this game with the hyperdrive technology themselves, which puts them way ahead of the curve. I mean, that's the reason why you can't just immediately kill them, because they're actually pretty technologically advanced. Okay, so somebody else has completed his or her mission, Cheerful Splendor. Uh-huh, okay. I think it's time to quickly design a gas luxury. It's annoying, but whatever. Just get it done. Is there anything else we need? So this is really unfortunate that you guys can't see the pop-ups that appear right here. I mean, there's a box that's opening up right here. It shows all the stuff. I think it was even present before I did the window mode, but then you guys wouldn't be able to see. Um, anytime I open this, you guys wouldn't be able to see the drop-down box. So we're <laughs> there's no great decision. There's no. I don't understand why it's not capturing that though. I forgot to experiment with layers. I'll really try to do that off camera. Okay, so um, that, what was I saying? We're looking for uh, priorities for our, our empire, or I guess this is by galaxy priority, but that's the way I tend to view things anyway. Yeah, carbon, this one's really good. How soon are we gonna colonize Griffin? Well, soon-ish. One, two, and then three, and then four. Yeah. I mean, our high-tech research is going to just jump through the roof when we get to through this. Um, this is also means we don't need to even upgrade our um, existing research labs because all their research output is going to go up from 30. It's going to be a 33% increase. How are we doing right now, by the way? We're at like 390 yeah, and we have about 540 as our um, the potential we're allowed to reach. So we still have we don't have any unutilized potential. We have plenty of research labs left over. Oh yeah, so we need these exploration ships to have new jobs now, which means it's time to. Oh good, so this guy got. Oh. So what do we have? We have gold, lead, and. Okay, so Supernova, this one's going to provide a 7% bonus to energy research. And it looks like all the stuff that we're scanning is going to come directly from this patch of asteroids. That's probably where all the interesting things are here. Uh, I wish I could just very quickly look at the ones. I wish I could just filter. But I can do this, of course, from the um, expansion planner. So since there's nothing really interesting there, or at least it's not easy for me to tell what's going on, just send this guy to the new, a new place. And now we have 
Who's this? Oh, down here. Okay. And what did you find? Your system has, good god, an asteroid belt way on the outside of the system, and a single planet which has Aculon and Necrostone, but actually pretty good percentages there. And again, we always want to have some kind of uh, station in a system, if possible. Let's see what this one... Okay, so besides the Aculon and Necro Stone, which we found, there's also Steel, Iridium, Lead and Gold, which probably are things that we don't need in this outer asteroid belt. Well, good work. Let's see. Can we push you on a little bit further? Yes. I mean, not... He's going to run out of fuel on the return trip, but until we have the new hyperdrives, there's no point. So let's get this guy over here. Actually, I just thought about it. Our new military ships are going to be really effective because they will start off with the best hyperdrive from the get-go. And paying that little bit of extra money to the pirates, it also has the added benefit of not taxing our empire for fuel resources. Okay, this guy's now done. What did your system have in it? Still hydrogen, but no Caslon. We are looking for a new place for fuel. Okay, those planets are not useful. This one's not useful either. And that's it. This has two planets and one moon. And I guess we've collected, we've looked at all of them. Which also means that the other steel, gold, all that stuff, the lead, that must be in some of the asteroids, which we are not going to take a look at. Let's get him to go over there. Okay, construction ship completed its mission. Good, that means this is the Kiati Adventure. Let's go back home. Pick the Kiati Adventure. And let's just get her to refuel the planet just to get her to come back. Looks like the Cheerful Splendor is also done. Oh, we never retasked them with some kind of build mission. Because I started to do the design for <laughs> the new station and then I stopped. Okay, well, let's do it now. This is going to be a, I guess it's a gas mining station. Yeah, it's a gas luxury. Sort by category, commerce, command. Do we need the commerce on these guys? I think we do. Yeah, oh, wait, I don't remember. I mean, I'm almost positive. Let's leave off the commerce and see if I need it, because <laughs> I can't remember. All right, we need two gas extractors, three luxury extractors, having life, at least one for now, um, at least one reactor. For cargo bays, I don't think we need as many as what we put on our refueling stations, so I'll leave it at eight. Put two docking bays on. Two fuel cells. So what do we need here? More having life. I did a gas mining ship. Damn it. So cancel. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Gas mining station, there. And now we need the commerce, I'm sure. Yeah. That should have been the first indication <laughs> that I didn't have it right. Uh, oh well. Okay, now we do the same thing though. What do we call this? This is the... I totally blanked on my... Was I using this for my stations? No. I'm using... Uh, well, temp. Let's just call it temp for a second. What do I call... I'm calling them... Like ORMAT or SIVSTAT. That's what it is. All designs. So SIVSTAT gas luxury, and we'll call it the Mark 1 because that's what it is. So, Civstat. 
Instead of stat, gas, luxury, and she will be, let's call her the Mark II just because then everyone will be on the same, it'll be easy to keep track of everyone's version. Let's save, I wanna check, I was only putting, I was putting four docking bays on these guys. Ore luxury, and on the ores I'm probably also putting four. Yeah, so let's put four, I couldn't remember. Okay, good. And I'm guessing that eight cargo bays is what I'm using as my standard. Yeah, that's good. Okay, good. So there it is, our gas luxury. Tried not to take too long with that. And now let's get the cheerful splendor to go over here and build a gas luxury. That's what we need, right? Gas and luxury. Okay, good. Uh, although, oh, I didn't think about this. The only option we have for building in this system is the gas luxury. Well, I guess we'll just build another one there later. The civilian economy pays for the maintenance anyway, so it's not a big deal. It's kind of nice. You can use the civilians for your listening post. <laughs> All right. We got improved assault tactics, which is another, just gosh darn it, man. Nothing useful. So improved assault tactics, we actually completed it. I, wasn't that the one we already had a small bonus to, which makes it even worse? Because usually it completes attack by itself. That's okay. Daunting discovery is done. Okay. Well, if I do refuel at nearest for your fueling point, where do you go? Yeah, you just go here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I want you to head back home because that's where you're going to need to go anyway. This was the daunting discovery. Okay, there. And the last construction ship that I had explore something is now already being retasked. Very good. So we're really starting to get an idea of our nearby systems. Very good. Okay, frugal bluff. Done. Let's see what this system has. Argon, Krypton, I don't see Caslon. Huh. Jacanta Ivory. I don't think we have that luxury resource yet. Let's see. Argon 66, Krypton 40. Okay, this one looks like it has potential. Tadirios, Trillion Down, and Jacanta Ivory. Well, it has two. It, I mean, this is a better plan than the one we just tasked. Uh, cheerful Splendor. Maybe we'll just pull cheer, Cheerful Splendor off. That one in our home system is just unnecessary. And this is a much better option because we have Jaconta Ivory here. Yeah, let's do it this way. Um, you are supposed to build here. Have you gotten there yet? No. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Instead... Ah. Well, that's quite a ways away, isn't it? Well, who cares? It'll be our first main, like, huge effort outside of the, the local systems. There it is. So instead, build that exact same thing, but over here. Let's make sure that she gets the message in time. She does! Yes, she does and is at the same time, is diz. All right, we haven't retasked this guy yet, though. Thank you for exploring the system. What else was over here? Yeah, in uh, that's the only planet I think we can even put a station on over in this one. Okay, so that person will go here. Let's have you go over here. Now we have the dubious sojourn. Wow, so this is one of the closest systems to us, but it took them a long time to explore, which can be a good thing. Maybe we have a lot of resources. Oh, I see Castlon. Thank goodness. So let's just take a look from the inside out. Nothing really here, lead and chromium, I think. Iridium, uh, but low percentages. Tiderios and Terrellian down, those guys, if, you, if you're noticing a pattern by now, those are often paired together. Okay, hydrogen by itself though, that's a pretty poor station. We won't need that until we at least get hydrogen reactors. Steel by itself, that's not gonna be necessary. All right, here we have Castlon and Krypton, and this is gonna be perfect for a refueling station. 
And nothing interesting in the other two. Lastly, yeah, nothing interesting here unless we wanted weapons research. So I neglect those bonuses because um, the only the largest bonus is applied. And we're about to get, when we get enhanced research, the Rusen technology thing gives a 50% high-tech research bonus. Um, and that acts as a location bonus, which is what this acts as. You can't, I think the highest I've found is like 30% from a location bonus, like a gas giant. So you, you just can't do better than the um, wonders. So if we get that wonder, it'll be the best that, that we're able to do. And then we won't need any um, research stations outside of our home planet, which is preferable anyway. Just keep maintenance costs down. So we do need to build a station here. I'm not going to make the same mistake. This guy's close enough. It looks like he's already on impulse power. So we can get him to build our station here. Just a gas station. And that's going to allow us to spring from this planet further west. I mean, it doesn't... I guess we can barely be able to get to these two with that. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of planets or systems around this one. But... It's still nice to be able to springboard maybe that extra little bit. Maybe we'll find something really interesting in one of those three places. Okay, so that's done. And before we call this video to a close, I want to make sure I have all of our explorers tasked. So, yeah, you know what? It's a little bit crazy, but let's just go off and try to explore this one as well. Okay, so I'm going to call this video to a close here. The exploration phase has really begun gotten quite a few systems explored just in this first uh, exploration episode. So uh, we'll continue to bloat outwards <laughs> in the next video and uh, eventually as soon as we have shields and the new hyperdrive, well in the reverse order, hyperdrive and then, and then shields, we'll get some military ships. Well thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.